Hi guys, welcome to another episode of St. Pauli Rising. Now, 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 now. If you remember, in yesterday's episode, I said that things had not been going well and we've been seeing a lot of goalkeeping error bullshit. And it was starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Well, um, yeah. That has not stopped. In fact, I'm going to be showing you some highlights in this episode as well as doing our live come against Freiburg. Uh, because I must show you the Wolfsburg game. Because it, uh, if I remember correctly, it infuriated me. Now, this was all done yesterday. So I apologise if I'm a little hazy. But believe me, it's all going to come flooding back like a terrible childhood regression memory. And basically, just such crap. Anyway, basically, um, sorry, I've lost my train of thought entirely there. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So I had a comment yesterday on a video which was basically about opposition instructions and I fully agree with you. And now, unfortunately, I've not had a chance to implement it until today and I'm going to do, um, well, I'm going to do part of it in this episode live, basically. And then the other half I'm going to do over um, sort of January kind of time while we play some friendlies and whatnot. And before we come back for the January transfer episode plus obviously fixtures in that month. But first, let's just uh, get stuck into the fixtures we had this month. So against Nuremberg, I made a colossal error. Basically, I'd read somewhere that you could pretty much just beat a team by looking at what, what formation they were most vulnerable to facing and playing that formation. And I decided to set up with a 4-4-2 in this game, and that was my error. We set up with Brandy and Lennart Ty both up front together, and uh, I substitute. I sacrificed my like um, attacking midfielder essentially. This cost us phenomenally. I mean, look, Nuremberg deserved to beat us. There's no doubt about it. And we were lucky to get the two goals that we did. I have no complaints about this result at all. Um, Polak, Nikola uh, Vyudino, uh, Vyudinovic, Vyudinovic, I don't know. Uh, Marius Stepinski and Vitaly Rodi Rodionov. Didn't he play for Sunderland or is that just on another save? Nope, that's in another save. Um... I'm pretty certain that he keeps signing for Sunderland. Like, every time I played Football Manager last year, Vitaly Rodionov would always sign for Sunderland. Um, yeah, so we were out of the DFB Pokal, which was really disappointing because I thought we could maybe go on a little cup run, but that is my fault. We did still, however, get like 700k in prize money for just getting knocked out here, which isn't bad. And we do need the money. Unfortunately, we then had a really... I mean, I say, we had an away game against Wolfsburg, and it was a toughie because... Wolfsburg were a good side. They were just a bit hard on their luck in the league at this point when they played us. But the things that happened in this game, they made me want to rip my fucking hair out, if I remember correctly. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get straight into it, basically, so you can see my feels, because I'm pretty certain this was goalkeeping error central. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the highlights. Right, now, before I press, before I press play... Three clear-cut chances each. Yeah, okay, they did have more chance, more shots, but still. Yet again, you level on the clear-cuts and you lose. Or you win on clear-cuts and you lose or draw. It just... Ah, oh, so frustrating. Anyway, let's get into this and I'll show you the goals. I don't know if this was a bullshit goal or not. Like, oh yeah, look at that. I mean, seriously, look at that. I'm going to just slow it down and... Can we redo it? Yeah, we can. Okay, so yeah. Ball in from the corner from De Bruyne. It's saved... And then the goalkeeper just stands there and waits for them to put it into the net. So, goalkeeping bullshit number one. Um, Wolfsburg away, I was very, very pleased that we actually came as close to getting anything from this game as we did, to be honest. But I felt that we maybe deserved more. Uh, this was Wolfsburg's second goal, I believe. De Bruyne gets it in the midfield here. Um, nobody comes near him, but that's my fault because of the way I've got the opposition instructions. He's able to play it out wide to Jung. Jung's ball across, and, well, I don't know what the goalkeeper's doing there, apart from not attempting to save it at all. It looked like it went straight through his knees in the end. It should look like it should have hit him or it just seemed to like sell, like clip straight through him, uh, like it no-clipped. Anyway, Rakowski's corner, ball in here and it's cleared away. Uh, Brandy brings it down and is able to drop it into Rakowski who, with the slide tackle, back to Brandy, Brandy drops it in and it is a fantastic finish from Tom Tribal. I can't fault that goal. There was some really good play going into that. And I thought, 65 minutes, you never know. There's still hope for us in this game yet. Unfortunately, that was quickly wiped out when Reinhardt, ball here, gets it to Hunt, Hunt's long-range effort, goalkeeper just stands there. 
and then decides to bat it into his own net in the end. Um, I... But, okay, admittedly, the um, goalkeeping error there wasn't so much the fault of the goal, but my point is, look at how long it... Oh, also, this was some hilariousness too. Um, if I believe, oh no, wait, no, never mind. Oh yeah, of course, terrible back pass. Comes into Gerlitz here, drops it across for Rakowski, and Rakowski with the fantastic finish at the low. My point is, for their third goal, although the goalkeeping error didn't actually cause the goal, it could have easily have. The goalkeeper took so long to, in fact, I mean, look how long it took him to react after the initial save was made. Why do they take 20 minutes to fucking react after they've made that first save? They just seem to stand there. Sometimes they don't even get up. It does seem very, very strange, and it's costing goals. Like, this month alone, uh, in the Nuremberg game, there was a couple of them. Obviously, there was ones in the Mainz game, too, I believe. I've conceded so many goals, in, especially in this series, although there's been a few in my Pompey one, too, due to that specific goalkeeping error, where they just stand there and let them score. That is getting ridiculous now, where I can't even... I can't win games because we concede so many goals, and that's probably down to my defending tactics as well. I'm not certainly ab absolving myself of blame, because clearly... Um, we're not cut out for this. However, just as I say that, more proof that there's something seriously broken. And you might think, well, why is that? You won the game. Yeah, we did. But we didn't deserve to. We FM'd FM. It seems that the exact opposite of what should be happening is what is happening. We absolutely did not deserve to win this game. Uh, Herder Berlin had three clear-cut chances to our one. Um, and they took the lead from Solomon Kalou. We then got um, Ilsanka, Ilsanka sent off. And we're able to score twice through Tribal and then Ishmael Yati in the 90th minute. Not going to knock it. It's great. I'm loving it. But we shouldn't have won that game or come anywhere close to winning this game. Yet, Mainz we should have beaten. Nuremberg, fair enough. Wolfsburg, we should have at least been involved in the game. Hanover, again, possibly. It's frustrating. But I guess that is football. But it does seem to be the, almost the opposite of what should be happening is, is what's happening. So, that brings us to today's game. Away at Freiburg, and this is an absolutely crunch game, because if you look at where we are in the league, we have got 16 points. We are three above Dusseldorf in the uh, relegation playoff zone, and we are five above Hanover, and of course, six above Freiburg. So a win here today would be absolutely glorious for us, and it would really give us a chance as we... Uh, is that the halfway stage? Yeah, no, I think it would be. This is our last, last game of the first half of the season, of course it is, yeah. Um, so we're going to set up some extra stuff for that. But let's take a look at the squad first. So we, we have scored a couple of goals in these games. Um, let's just turn off the filters, though. So, oh. That was strange. Oh, is Nico Empen back? Oh, I tell you what, it's because I've got these filters on. <laughs> right, okay. Goal scored. So Soren Brandy's last score was seven. As for assists, so that's Ismail Yati. I'm, I'm liking him. He's been a decent signing. Player of the matches, of course, Yati and Rakowski up there. Um, pass completion, that's Dauber's sort of area. Narig, 11 yellows, 2 reds. He just cannot stay on it. Look, 11 yellows and 2 reds in 15 appearances. It's a disgrace. Uh, we need to get another... Is he right back? I think he's a right back. We need to get another right back. Because he is... He's a liability. As for average rating, Tom Tribal has genuinely been excellent in the games he's played for us. When you look at his average rating compared to the other players on his team, he's been superb. Netted goals for us, he's got assists for us, doing decent with his passing, his tackling, his shots on target ratio is very, very high, um, considering. So, well done him. Although he is going to miss this game for injury, of course, because that's what happens. Right, so let's get into the match preview here. Uh, oh, okay, so they're going to go with a 4-4-2, which means immediately I think I'm going to know what I'm going to do here. We are away from home, so I probably, no, I probably am going to set, no, no, we're not, we're not, we're not. But I am going to kill some of these opposition instructions. I've been told that that is a good idea. So I'm going to leave it on exploit the flanks, um, but we're not going to have a look for the overlap on. I'm going to turn off whipped crosses, and I am going to drop a little deeper. Run of defense, we're going to turn that off. Um, We're going to turn that off as well, and... Hmm. I think we'll leave it at that. I've been told basically that less is more. And I understand that I do. It's just sometimes I feel like if I don't put something on there, we're going to concede goals because of it. it. It's just one of those things. We do want to keep possession. I do like short passing. Um, but then oh, those two are a little bit... I mean, I know they're not contradictory, but maybe we should just go with passing to space. We've got some quite pacey players. Also, I've been told that, you know, using uh, Babangida a bit more. Now, I did this last season and... 
this year he's just not really I maybe haven't given him a fair shot so we're going to give him a chance here in place of Gurlitz although I'm going to put Gurlitz on the bench because oh wait hang on let me just do a quick bit first to get rid of some get the injuries out of the team so I can just take a proper look at it uh yeah Babangida why isn't he even well, I don't know why the quick pick doesn't even put him in the team. That is bizarre. Uh, let's put Gerlitz on the bench instead of... Uh, I don't need Budimir because I've got Thigh. So... <sighs> Kringer. Oh, of course, because Ilzank is injured. Um, and Tribal is also injured. So, yeah, we're, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel a little bit. Bubala will play here because Haustenberg is, of course, injured as well. Um, right, so, yeah... Up front, we look pretty strong with Brandy, Rakowski, Yarty, Babangida. Um, Dauba has been superb. Kringer is going to have to do. Bubala is decent. Gunter, Sobiek, and Nerig. Okay, that's going to do for now. Um, hopefully, our eight opposition strikes. Is that really eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, yes, it is. Okay. Um, we can change stuff as and when I need it. But I just feel like dropping deeper against a, a, two strikers is a wise choice. It always seems to have worked for me in the past. Although, I guess you could argue that maybe it hasn't been working so well lately. If you've got any ideas what we could do tactically for some Pauli to maybe get us some better results and make us a bit harder to beat, then feel free to let me know in the comments. Also, yes, I am aware that we need to set up some opposition instructions. However, I don't have time to go and sit through and do that in this video. I'm going to do that off camera and we'll be using it in the uh, January games. So don't worry, I am going to do that because it is massive important, I know. Um, but for now, I'm just going to use my uh, coach's recommendations for that. I know that's usually crap because they are genuinely pretty poor i mean i don't know why they apply it to players i like to apply it to positions but we'll have to see right so let's continue to team talk hopefully we can put in a strong performance i really don't want a whimpering performance like we had in the home game against dusseldorf which we lost away at freiburg here i want to put in a real strong one that's why i've gone with our attacking lineup rather than our defensive away sort of style hopefully uh Bavangida and yati can prove dangerous for us today and getting the ball out wide to them and getting them to run at the defenders and why is it on that's bizarre apologies i'm just putting it on 2d classic because i can't see the game otherwise right rakowski here getting the ball to yarty this is of course the first uh, highlight so this isn't going to be all that important to the general flow of the game right let's see how things go oh uh, here we go ball in jensen's ball in and it's um oh come on what? How did Kringer put that in his own net? Oh, let me guess. Cleared it against someone, because that seems to happen a lot as well. Own goal. Like, what happened? He gets the ball here. The ball is just sort of... I don't even know what happened there. I, I'm genuinely not a clue. I have no idea what just happened. Um, They just seem to... The ball just seemed to fly off in a different direction. Oh, God, here we go again. Surely not another goal from a corner. And, no, good save, I think. I don't know if it was a save. Go on, get to the ball first. Win the ball first. Nope. Okay. And it's dropped back here to Torion. We maybe should be closing them down a bit more. I'm not sure. Maybe it'd be good if I start against with less opposition instructions and then build them up as I sort of analyse the game. I think maybe we do need to close them down. A l oh, they're already closed down more. In that case, we'll just leave that like that, because I don't want to close down much more, because that could pull us way too far out of positions. Guardado. I'm assuming not the same Guardado that... Uh, Ozzy Pika? Oh, oh, come on. <sighs> Max Milio and Philip, and it's 2-0 to Freiburg. Um... <sighs> e wow, I'm... Have I just suddenly become shit at this game? Maybe I have. Maybe I have just literally become shit at this game all, all of a sudden. So we're two down inside 15 minutes. I'm not going to switch to overload or anything silly sh sh just yet. Because you never know. This tactic could still... That could just be a blip. Yarty gets the ball across the box to no one. Um, does this feel a bit slow to you as well? Let's just boost the highlights. There we go. Um, it's Philippe. It's Ben Khalifa. Who sounds like a rapper. Um, anyone. There's three of you around him. Somebody put a foot in. Guardado, let me guess, whipped across and goal. Ozpika, ball across, saved. Okay, saved. Shauna manages to hold on to that one, finally. Does that actually count as a clear-cut chance? Or was that their first clear-cut chance of the game? We've created nothing yet. I'm thinking if we get to, like, sort of half an hour in this game and we've still not had a shot, I may have to switch to an overload. Because we're already two down. It just seems so quick that teams can get at you in this game. Um, that's that's the thing, early goals. I've been getting a lot of early goals scored against me lately. Uh, regardless of what strategy I play. If I go defensive, they score early goals. If I, Brandy! Oh, there we go. 
Right. Freiburg one, uh, to St. Pauli 1. Decent. We create one chance and we score the goal, which is what we needed here. It's a good ball in from Bubala. Um, it's just as well he can do that. Brandy with a... I don't know why he went with his foot. Don't care. Scored the goal. Goalkeeper dived the wrong way. And backwards. Your note. Uh, Rakowski to whip one in here. They'll probably break on us and score here, though. Go to the ball, go to the ball, go to the ball. Right, thank you. Uh, Gunter's got the ball here. Just don't lose it here. Right, Nerid. Come on, if we can get level before half time, that. What was that? Just the most aimless pass in the world. Guardado now. Go on, tackle him. Get out to him. Jensen, Struble, they're going to score on this play. You can almost sense it. Um, and here it comes. Oh, that was a big chance. Freiburg do look a lot better than us. Right, what can we do? What can we change opposition instructions wise? Because. Dropping deeper clearly is doing nothing. Um, run at them? I don't know. Mm. What did we score that goal from? It was like a whipped cross. Let's go for whipped crosses. See if that does anything for now. I'm going to just give it a little bit more time. To a sort of 35 minutes. Unless we can see. Actually, no. I'll give it to half time with things as it is. I know we're not looking good, but... I don't want to change too much just in case... It gets a lot worse because we are still technically in the game. It's 2 1. It's only 2 1 to Freiburg. And I feel like if we overload too early, it could lose its importance because I want them to try and sit back and that's when we can try and get them. I want us to be able to pummel them because we've actually de done quite well with that. Yes, let's do that. Come on. Thank you. Um, we'll give it to a half time because we're clearly not creating anything of note. Let's, uh, why is the tactic? Oh, because of that. Okay. Right, let's just quick team talk before half time as well to try and get something. Um, get creative. You've got to do something, guys. We've only had one shot in this entire game so far, and it has been the goal. Credit to you for that. Yeah, they've been. We've been really poor in this game, um, and we don't deserve to even really be as close to this game as we are. Let's see if we in the second half we can FM FM. Uh, let's go to tactics and change this stuff at half time because something's got to be done. I'm going to go overload because it just seems to have that shock factor. Um, plus, we've got reasonably good at it. Um, as for instructions, we may have to go shoot on site here and push a little bit higher. I know I'm turning on instructions all the time, but I don't know what else to do in this sort of situation. I don't want to bring on a second striker because against Nuremberg, we got absolutely torn apart when we brought on a second striker. Um, be more expressive, I guess. Oh, I don't want to turn on too many. Let's not really worry about possession, since I don't think we were getting that much of it anyway. Um, but it was about 50-50. Let's just try and do a bit more with the ball. Hopefully in the second half we can try and come at them a little bit and see what we can come up with. It just seems that we're not showing enough just yet. And I really do want that to change. I want to get to a situation where they just decide to shut up shop against us. Because we can generally do better against teams in those situations where they've decided that they're happy with the result. Because then we can just pummel them. And try and get ourselves a leveler here. Yarty's ball all the way across. Babangida. That looks offside. Oh, he was so good for us doing that last year in the second division. And I'm hoping that maybe bringing him in could be the key here. Uh, although, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll make the changes on Schmidt here. And just try and close him down too. I don't want them to score. But I want them to sit back. I want them to go, okay, we're leading this game. Let's not try and overdo it. Oh, look, narig has got a booking. What a massive shocker that is. Uh, Rakowski, ball across, Sobiek, and it's offside as well. <sighs> right, um, what have we got on the bench? What can we even bring on? I don't want to bring on Gerlitz, really. Unless I bring him in for... No, I don't want to bring him for Rakowski. That would be suicidal. He's playing well. Um, Babangida's not done that great. I'm going to bring him in for Ger Gerlitz in for him, just because I know he's... yeah. Uh, what else? I kind of want to make two here, but I don't want to bring on Thai for Brandy. Do I make a defensive change? Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get Nerig off before he does something stupid, which is more than likely to happen. Let's just go with that for now. Um, I'm going to have to tell the team to push forward. Um, What? Yeah, live. I don't know why I did that. Did I click the wrong button? Um, We're going to tell them to push forward because they need to do something. We need to show something. I mean, Freiburg have been better than us, and they deserve it, but we're right in here. If we could just get one good chance, that is all we need in this game. One chance. Um, I don't think we're going to get it somehow. Long ball down the pitch. And Khalifa, right, let's come to Schmidt. We just seem to be second to every ball. Long ball over the top. Ben Khalifa, and this is 3-1, surely. Good block, but unfortunately, we're on the bloody defensive side here. They deserve to win this game. Um, 
unfortunately. I just, I didn't know what to do. And I just, I can't seem to, I can't seem to buy a win anymore. It's really disappointing. I don't know what's changed. Oh, that's a decent clearance, actually. Still 10 minutes to go. Maybe we can come up with something cheeky. They look like they're actually trying to get that, the killer. Go oh, come on. We're conceding a lot of goals from set pieces. And I need to take a look at that because it's getting stupid now. Like, more than an average amount from set pieces. It looked like he just was able to collect that and then take the goal. Ball in. What is the goalie doing? I suppose the goalie's doing whatever the goalie wants, because that's what goalies do in this game now. Um, oh, Jesus. That's disappointing. This is a really disappointing performance. Uh, I don't know what else to do, really. I mean, we're not going to win this game. We're going to lose comfortably in the end it would appear oh, that's so fucking disappointing we've been poor um and i just couldn't come up with anything that we could do to get through freiburg really they seem everyone seems like a brick wall now um what do you mean disappointed you were shit i know you assisted one goal but that doesn't make you a hero so we're in some trouble we're at the halfway stage of the season and well we're three points off of the relegation we are three points above the relegation zone there, there is that, but we were really, really poor in this game, and nothing I did seemed to have any effect on the game. Um, but it, it's still... It does feel... The game does feel a little bit more difficult to win. I've got to say, like, I've suddenly just stopped winning with either St. Pauli or Pompey. Both series, I seem to have stopped winning games just instantly. Obviously, in St. Pauli, we weren't winning many, but Pompey, we were. And it just seems that suddenly it's just stopped, and I cannot figure out what to do. So if you've got any ideas on tactical changes, maybe, or I am going to set up opposition instructions, of course, then let me know in the comments, because I'm getting a bit frustrated with this now, because it's starting to become quite irritating. Like, I just, I don't know. That was a shame. We're conceding a lot of goals, too. I do need to set up some opposition instructions for corners, clearly, because we are conceding a lot of goals from them. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed my misery in this episode, please feel free to drop a like on the episode, and if you've liked it even more than that, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more... Uh, 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 more of this in the future. And I will see you guys in the next episode, which will be after Christmas, um, in... Oh, I don't know when the next thing actually is next league game is in oh it's against Bayern that'll be fun uh, in late January so yeah there'll only be oh actually there's three games in January so fair enough we'll do those three games and we've got obviously to talk about January transfers because I may have to try and make some to try and strengthen our defence or something like that so I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll be talking about that sort of stuff bye bye